Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we want to find the value of this expression. 3 divided by 6 3 divided by 3 and divided by 6. Are you ready to solve? Let's go ahead and get started. 3 divided by 6 can be written as 3 over 6 and divided by again we have here 3 divided by 6 which is 3 over 6. 3 over 6 divided by 3 over 6 gives us just 1. But this answer is not correct because according to the order of operations we have to work from, uh, from left to right okay so first this division and then this division and finally this division okay so our expression equals 3 divided by 6 can be written as 3 over 6 and let's recopy divided by 3 and divided by 6 okay 3 divided by 6 uh, can be written as 1 over 2 so 1 over 2 divided by 3 and divided by 6 1 over 2 divided by 3 uh, according to the kcf rule k stands for keep c stands for change and f stands for flip keep the first fraction uh, change division to multiplication and flip the second fraction our second fraction is 3 over 1 okay uh, according to this rule uh, 1 over 2 divided by 3 over 1 can be written as 1 over 2 times 1 over 3 and let's recopy this divided by 6 so uh, 1 divided by 2 times 1 divided by 3 equals 1 divided by 2 times 3 which equals 6 okay 1 over 6 and divided by 6 now according to the kcf rule 1 over 6 divided by 6 can be written as 1 over 6 okay times 1 over 6 and this is equal to 1 over 6 times 6 which is 36 so our final answer to this problem is just 1 divided by 36 1 divided by 36 45 divided by 3 square then times 2 plus 3. Are you ready to solve? Let's go ahead and get started. 3 square gives us 9. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 9 times 5 equals 45. And we have here 45 divided by this. So 45 divided by 45 which equals 1. But this answer is not correct because according to the order of operations which is PEMDAS P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponents, M and E stands for multiplication and division and A and S stands for addition and subtraction. We first do parentheses then exponents then multiplication and division and finally addition and subtraction remember that multiplication and division have equal priority and we work from left to right and the same applies to addition and subtraction so here uh, first we have to handle these parentheses 2 plus 3 gives us 5 our expression equals 45 divided by 3 square and times just 5 no, here we have this exponent. So 3 square gives us 9. Okay, 45 divided by 9, then times 5. No, we have one division and one multiplication. Division and multiplication have equal priority and we have to work from left to right. So first, 45 divided by 9, which equals 5. So 5 times 5. 5 and this is equal to 25 so our final answer to this problem is just 25 
3 times 16 divided by 4 then minus 5 to the power of 0. Are you ready to solve? Let's go ahead and get started. According to the order of operations, which is PEMDAS, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponents, M and D stands for multiplication and division, and A and S stands for addition and subtraction. We first do parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication and division, and finally addition and subtraction. Uh, remember that multiplication and division have equal priority and we work from left to right and the same applies to addition and subtraction uh, here in this expression we have these parentheses so first this parentheses 16 divided by 4 gives us just 4 so 3 times just 4 minus 5 to the power of 0 okay here we have one multiplication one subtraction and one uh, exponent according to PEMDAS uh, first we have to handle this 5 to the power of 0 which equals 1 so 3 times 4 minus 1 and now we have one multiplication and one subtraction According to PEMDAS, uh, multiplication has higher pr uh, priority than subtraction. So first 3 times 4, which equals 12. And 12 minus 1 gives us just 11. So our final answer to this problem is just 11. Three minus three times three plus three. Are you ready to solve? Let's go ahead and get started. According to the order of operations, uh, multiplication has higher priority than subtraction and addition. Okay, so first we have to handle this multiplication. Three times three gives us nine. So three minus nine plus 3 remember that subtraction and addition have equal priority and we have to work from left to right so 3 minus 9 gives us negative 6 negative 6 plus 3 negative 6 plus 3 equals negative 3 so therefore our final answer to this problem is negative 3